Up next on Lion TV, we have Bethany Ellis with some weather updates. Jordan Bonite with the Lion of the Week. And me, Drew Thurman, here to give you local and national sports updates. All that and more Lion TV starts now. Good morning, Starsley High School. I'm Jordan Benite. And I'm Dakota Johnson. Let's get into those announcements. High school baseball tryouts will be December 2nd through the 4th from 3.30 to 5 each day at the baseball field. Or in the case of rain or inclement weather, tryouts will be moved to the indoor facilities. Anyone who is interested in trying out needs to sign up with Coach Davis and or Coach Gardner either during or after 8th period, as well as via school email ASAP. ASUBB will be on campus on November 10th to register students for spring and enro concurrent enrollment classes. ASUBB is in the process of mailing out packets to students who are currently enrolled in concurrent classes this semester. If students are not enrolled in concurrent classes this semester but plan on enrolling for the spring semester, they need to contact the Guidance Center or Julia Roddy to receive a packet to enroll. The SHS Flu Clinic will be held November 12th. Information was handed out last week. Virtual students may pick up packets at the East Office. Arkansas School for Math and Sciences will be visiting SHS and the Guidance Center November 10th at 10.30 a.m. If any 9th and 10th grade students are interested in attending, please email Ms. Cleveland. Key Club is sponsoring a blood drive November 12th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Now more than ever, blood is needed. Students who are interested will receive a form to fill out with a QR code to schedule their donation time. All donations will be tested for COVID-19 antibodies to identify potential convalescent plasma donors. Masks must be worn when donating and social distancing will be observed. All donors will receive a limited edition blood donor mask. Republican Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas won re-election Tuesday in a race that has allowed him to begin laying the groundwork for a potential 2024 White House bid. President Donald Trump has also secured Arkansas's six electoral votes as Republicans hope to maintain their dominance in the solidly red state. Americans went to the polls Tuesday under the shadow of a resurging pandemic with an alarming increase in cases nationwide and the number of people hospitalized with COVID-19 reaching record highs in a growing number of states. While daily infections were rising for all but three states, the surge was most pronounced in the Midwest and in Southwest. Missouri, Oklahoma, Iowa, Indiana, Nebraska, North Dakota, and New Mexico all reported record high hospitalizations this week. Nebraska's highest hospitals started limiting elective surgeries and looked to bring in nurses from other states to cope with the surge. Hospital officials in Iowa and Missouri warned bed capacity could soon be overwhelmed. Bail was set at $2 million on Monday for a 17-year-old from Illinois accused of killing two men during an August protest in Kenosha, Wisconsin. After the father of one victim told the court the teen thinks he's above the law and would disappear if freed before the trial, Kyle Rittenhouse of Antioch, Illinois, is charged with fatally shooting Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber during a protest over a police shooting in August. He is also charged with wounding a third man, Gage Groskowitz. Rittenhouse, turned himself into the police in Antioch the morning after the August 25th shootings. He was extradited to Wisconsin on Friday and made his initial court appearance in Kenosha County on Monday afternoon. I'm glad Election Day has come and gone. It kept me on edge. Me too. Now let's send it over to Bethany for some weather updates. Today is Thursday, November 5th, 2020. I'm Bethany Ellis. Let's take a look at this week's weather. Today, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 73 degrees, a 10% chance of rain, winds going south at 5 miles per hour, 62% humidity, and your sun rose at 6.32 a.m. On to tonight. Tonight, there will be clear skies. The low is 45 degrees, a 10% chance of rain, winds going east at 1 mile per hour, humidity at 94%, and your sun will set at 5.08 p.m. Onto the Almanac. Your last seven days temperatures, we had a high of 66, a low of 33 degrees. Your monthly average of precipitation is 5.15 inches, and your month to date is 0 inches onto the five cast. Friday, it will be sunny with a high of 71, 
a low of 46, and a 10% chance of rain. Saturday, it will be mainly sunny, with a high of 72, a low of 57, and a 10% chance of rain. Sunday, it will be mostly cloudy, with a high of 72, a low of 59, and a 20% chance of rain. Monday, it will be partly cloudy, with a high of 75, a low of 60, and a 20% chance of rain. And on Tuesday, there will be showers with a high of 69, a low of 45, and 40% chance of rain. It looks like this weekend and this upcoming week is shaping up to be a really mild and enjoyable weather, so be sure to get outside and enjoy that. Back to the anchors. Thanks for those updates, Bethany. Man, I'm starving. Let's see what's for lunch. For lunch, we will be having pig in a blanket, grilled chicken breast, whole grain breadstick, seasoned baked french fries, broccoli, glazed carrots, red delicious apple, peaches, and of course, milk variety. Be sure to thank our wonderful lunch ladies for all the hard work that goes into preparing the, our delicious lunches. I sure will. Hey Jordan, don't you have to be in our next segment line of the week? Yeah, one second. Hey Cersei, it's me, Jordan Bernight with your line of the week. This week we have orchestra musician Annie Beal. So Annie, how did orchestra change this year with the new COVID guidelines? Orchestra changed this year a lot. We definitely have to be spaced apart and wearing masks at all times. So it's a little harder to see Miss Guthrie up there, but we've definitely worked well with it. So how do you feel the orchestra is performing this year? I feel like we're performing really well. Um, we're definitely working with what we got and yeah, we're doing great with it. So what's the hardest part of orchestra for you? The hardest part of orchestra for me is probably that I have to leave next year and because we've really just grown to be a family and the friendships made will last a lifetime. So what's your personal favorite part of orchestra and what keeps you coming back? My favorite part of orchestra is definitely the people and the music that we get to create together. Well, Cersei, that's all we have for you today. I better get back to the news desk. And I'm back! Welcome back. Now let's see what's happening in the world of sports with Drew Thurman. What's up, Cersei? I'm Drew Thurman here to give you your sports updates. In local sports, your Cersei Glines are said to have a game today at Sylvan Hills. Yesterday, your track team had a state meeting in Hot Springs. So far, we're unsure of how the meet went, but we'll be sure to tell you as soon as we know. Now on your national news. Many NBA courts will use Tuesday night as places for U.S. citizens to place their vote in the 2020 elections. Although the team's management was generous, generous enough to let their home courts become polling places, the dates of next season's start is still unclear. And that's all I have for you today in the world of sports. Back to the anchors. Thanks for those sports updates, Drew. Now it's time for our Thankful Thursdays brought to you by the Good Vibes Tribe. I wonder who it'll be. Drum roll, please. This week's Thankful Thursday is dedicated to... Ms. Joyner and Ms. Vidrova. Thank you two for what you do for us each day as students. If you see them in the halls, show them your thanks. Well, that wraps up today's episode of Lion TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Cersei High Lion TV. And to follow us on Twitter at Lion TV, Instagram at Cersei High Lion TV, and on Facebook at Cersei High Lion TV. Signing off, I'm Jordan Benite. And I'm Dakota Johnson. See you next week.